Hi, this is Russ Anderson. I'm going to show how to use the solver locking facilities, camera locking facilities in Synthize 2008 to set up the scaling of a shot knowing just what the height of the dolly was. So in this particular shot, the camera's sitting on a dolly. In this case, it's, it's not even tilting up and down at all. And on set, just measured the height of that camera above the ground plane. So we're going to take that information and nothing else to set up the scaling of the overall coordinate system rather than measuring uh, particular information in the shot itself that you might have forgotten about or whatever. So uh, we've got uh, our solve here. It's just a little core to do a machine here. And first off, you'll notice we've got a bunch of tracking features on the ground. So we're going to use them to set up a coordinate plane. I'm just going to pick a couple out down here. And I've snapped everything down onto the ground. And you can see the camera running by at you know, roughly constant height overhead. So now let's bring up the solver locking panel. And at frame 0, I'm going to give it a particular height. And I'm set in Z up mode in synthize at the moment. I do the same thing in any of the other coordinate system settings as well. But I'm going to give it the 52 and a half uh, inch height at frame 0 and then at frame 1 I'm going to turn that lock back off. So simple enough. And the one other thing I need to do now is if you look at that uh, second tracker in the coordinate system setup, uh, it was set up as a lock point uh, which is sets the scaling of a coordinate system by default with that default coordinate system setup. And I, I can't have two conflicting coordinate system setups or I'm not going to get what I want at all. So I just need to change that point from being a lock at that 20, 0, 0 to just being on the x-axis somewhere. And it'll be at some location that's determined by the overall scaling. So with that other little adjustment, now I can just go and resolve the scene. And presto, here's my camera. If we go and look at the 3D panel, we'll see it's sitting around there, you know, starting off at 52 and a half at the beginning of the shot. And it actually tilts down a little by the end. And normally I would just let that go. It's possible, even slightly easier, to, to make it lock that value up uh, better. Um, but it, it's better really often not to because that's just telling it you've got various conflicting information. Now, one important thing I want to point out is that 52 and a half value, you know, 52 and a half above what? It's above the ground plane that you've set up based on these other points, the first three points. And depending on what you got, that, that may or may not really be a great ground plane to use. So another thing that we could do is go grab a couple more of those points. You know, if those points weren't really such a great ground plane, you know, the 52 and a half inches isn't really going to be so hot, especially when you consider that, you know, the camera is, is kind of fairly far away from where those points are, so they kind of tilt. There's a big lever arm involved. So I can take those other points and just say that they are on the ground plane also and just resolve, and that just will give us a slightly better uh, estimate of where that ground plane is. And again here, I, I'm doing this solve with the constraint checkbox off, so that I'm not actually changing the solve to jam these things to be true. I'm just uh, using it to align things as best as it can. It's possible also to, to jam things. I know a lot of people like to jam things for sure, but uh, often that's really just telling you that things don't quite add, add up the way that you expect. And uh, I try to encourage people to look at why that is rather than just blindly trying to fix things. So thanks. I uh, hope this is, uh, helps give you another way to set up your coordinate systems. Thanks.